hey guys long time no see so um i think i start every single sit down video or like talking video with i haven't been here in a while i'm sorry and yeah i'm saying the exact same thing again i am not used to sit down videos at all and it's like weird because i want to vlog but my life isn't really interesting at the moment so i'm doing a sit down video if you couldn't tell by the title, we're doing 20 facts about me. So instead of doing fact number one, fact number two, fact number three, and so on, because since there's 20 and I don't have 20 fingers and I'm not using my toes and all that stuff, I'm just gonna talk to you guys and tell you the facts and I'll like put a number here, somewhere around here maybe, or maybe here, or I don't really know. We'll just, we're just gonna go with the flow and see what happens yeah so i was born on april 1st 1998 which makes me 19 and an april fool's baby and yes i've gotten the joke oh so like you're a joke blah 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 <laughs> yes i've heard that joke a million times if you say it to me it's not gonna be funny so just don't just don't do it and since i was born on april 1st that makes my sun slash zodiac sign in aries i'm a cancer rising and my moon sign is gemini if you don't know what that means it's totally okay for my nationality i'm kenyan is it nationality or ethnicity i gotta look this up hold on <laughs> okay i had to move the stand because i had to take my phone out so i could like look it up but my parents were from kenya and i'm from new jersey so my ethnicity is kenyan and my nationality is american learn something new every day because i didn't know the difference between nationality and ethnicity common mistake common mis mistake um, and since I'm from New Jersey, I actually go to Rutgers, the State University of New Jersey, and I'm major, majoring, major, <laughs> I'm majoring in journalism and media studies. Growing up, I wanted to be a singer, dancer, actress, and professional tennis player, and now I want to be, still want to be all of those things, except cross out professional tennis player and add news broadcaster of some sort to that list because like a girl can still dream who knows maybe i'll be the next beyonce or something yeah that'd be sick being the next beyonce all right anyway so my favorite color is yellow as you guys well i was wearing a yellow shirt but it was messing up with the lighting too much okay so i'm wearing yellow and it just does not seem to be working, so I think I'm just going to go change my shirt. Even though I really like it, but we're going to go change. And this lighting is still figgity figgity oh. But I still wear this yellow necklace every day. Actually, it's a gold necklace, but still. Favorite color is yellow. Um, I broke my right arm when I was two. Yes, this is my right arm. My right arm when I was two. I was jumping on the bed with my cousin on my parents' bed, and then my cousin jumped too hard and I flew and then I broke my arm so that was fun my biggest accomplishment in middle school was uh, learning the whole entire rap to look at me now including best rhymes part um, yeah uh, request down below if you want me to do it because I think I would last show that I binge watched on Netflix and finished was the vampire diaries and that is a beautiful show the ending was beautiful I cried for a good hour but then again I'm soft the first concert I went to was One Direction in 2012. The most recent concert I went to was Black Bear in December 2016, which I vlogged, so you can see it right here. And then, um, I got tickets to go to a festival, Made in America, for 2017. I don't know if I'm actually going to go because of the lineup. I don't listen to a lot of people on it, so I may or may not sell my ticket. We'll see. And back in the day, I... I don't know if I should say this. I was like low, low key a groupie, I guess. Because like I was such a concert junkie and I would always try to like meet people after. So I'm not gonna tell you guys everyone, but I guess the most notorious or noteworthy one per or person that I met was the Ed Sheeran. Yes, I met Ed Sheeran and it was probably one of the greatest moments of my life. My celebrity crush for 10 years 
which is now more than half of my life, is Jake T. Austin. Yeah, the kid from Was It Joyfully Place, the youngest brother, Max Rusev, yeah, him. And I've been in love with him ever since Johnny Kapahala Back on Board in 2007. It was a Disney Channel original movie. I love that movie. You should all go check it out. Um, since then, my love for Jake T. Austin has, you know, uh, subsided a little bit, but I've loved him for so long now that I just can't give him up as my celebrity crush. So until I meet him, Jake T. Austin will still be my number one celebrity crush because I'm faithful and loyal and trustworthy. Wife me up. To remember my middle name when I was younger, I would say that it rhymes with mango because one, mangoes were my favorite fruit. Two, my middle name rhymes with mango. Three, no, I'm not telling you what my middle name is. But four, now my favorite fruit is strawberries. Um, I started working at the age of 16. 16? Yeah, 16. So I've had three jobs since then. First was retail, then I worked at an indoor water park, and now I'm back to retail. I can play the guitar, not well, uh, but I can play the guitar and I can read music, music and tabs, so. Oh. I would play for you guys, but my nails, is it in focus? My nails are a little long, except this one. This one just broke, but maybe I'm going to get these off soon, so maybe I'll whip up a nice little cover for y'all. And my last fact, hallelujah, girls hit you hallelujah, ooh. And my last fact is that I've been to 17 states all along the East Coast, excluding Vermont, because during a road trip, we were supposed to stop in Vermont, but my dad made a wrong turn, and it was, we ended up in Rhode Island, and it, and we couldn't go back, because we had to be back for something in New Jersey in time, and yeah. So we've been to 17 states, excluding Vermont, on the East Coast, because I love the East Coast. East Coast wins overall. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm actually gonna try and record more than usual. I'm not as many sit down videos. I definitely wanna do more like vlogs and maybe covers, maybe dance videos if I, if I can get my friends to do them because I think that'd be funny and good. It'd be funny, but good. So yeah, let me know if there's anything you guys want me to film, record, if there's any stories like how I met Ed Sheeran, if you want me to let you know about that because that was quite the adventure through a couple months. But yeah, thank you guys and... I think that people said that my like I'm actually like funny for these videos, but I think it's the bloopers. So maybe I should just stop doing sit down videos and just do bloopers. Also, the hand to face ratio for skin tone is ridiculous right now. Oh, okay. I'm shooting in front of my window and I have shutter blinds. So if I go here, I have lines in my face. If I go here, I have lines in my face. So I literally have to like, it's on my face. If you clicked on this, I'm glad that you're interested in my life. That's so sweet. Thank you for watching. Look back at it. Oh. I'm okay. I'm okay. We're good. Ooh. Pilates taught me how to do that. I'm so narcissistic. I'm just watching myself dance right now. I need to end this video.